Yeah. Hi, uh, my name is Marko Vranić and I'm coming from Simco and I'm APL developer there. Uh, I came this afternoon to entertain you and this what I'm going to talk is really, really, really funny. And uh, yeah, with, with big, big smile. And, uh, but be also careful, it's addictive, yeah. Uh, this is just research and maybe one day it will be also used. Uh, something about Simcop, yeah, Simcop is world leading uh, provider of integrated investment management solutions. And there is around 180 clients around the world. Uh, so let's start it. Uh, the question is, what is uh, serverless? Serverless is something what doesn't require server management. So in principle, as developer, you just have focus on, on code and then you deploy, and then this code is automatically deployed to, to somewhere in the cloud, yeah. And, and providers are deploying uh, server, uh, providing this to, to, to the cloud. Uh, serverless provide, provides two, two, two flavors. One is, uh, uh, so we have zero ops and, and also there is no compute cost when it's idle. Uh, serverless also provides uh, two, two options like uh, functions as a, as a service. And this is typical for even uh, driven, driven uh, computing. And also there is a bus, backend as a service, uh, where, where these services can be used as uh, APIs in, in, in backend. Uh, so, so it's very important to, 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 to say that uh, let's say that, okay, this is, this is, this is what is, what is uh, a typical serverless uh, function. And this is the basic serverless function for APL. And we just, this function does just echoing the input to out. So argument of, of the function has two, 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 two arguments. And one is event, and another is context. Context is, is uh, a web request context, and that's all. And this is this is this is kind of uh, APL uh, uh, serverless function or event. So let's go to next slide. And next slide is I, I'm going straight to the demo. Yeah? And I, I'm trying to, 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 to show you how this works. Uh, let's go to demo. Uh, so, so here I will open code, visual code. And this will be open on my screen. And therefore, I have to move it to your screen here. And, and here we control plus, yeah, control plus. We can see that Gilgamesh has made a coloring, yeah? And this is also this function. This function has a little bit, little addition here. And I will also print out the, 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 the out, the, the, the event, but I will also add the timestamp. So let's do it. Let's, let's, how, how we should do this? Uh, we go to, uh, uh, I have to find that here, and this is what, what I have prepared for you, and, and this is on, on, on GitHub, and here is on GitHub, you can find all details, how can you call this, and execute serverless. So, so first, I will, I will copy this, this line here, and paste it here, press enter, and what, sorry? You cannot see it. Okay, I, I can. Uh, 
Well, you can also, yeah. yeah so it's, it's fun, yeah, definitely. So, so, so maybe should I make a bigger font? Yeah, properties, kind of what we have there. Uh, let's go to 20. No, 20 is too much, maybe. But let's see. Yeah. Yeah, so now it's, now what happened is, now what happened is, this is very important what is happened now. Uh, so this APL code, this APL function is now deployed to the cloud. Principle and, and, and uh, now it can be used, yeah. So there is, uh, you don't have to think about this Docker thing and other things. <laughs> So it's, it's, it, so, so, so let's try it if it, if it, if it, if it, so this big difference between Morton stock and, and this, yeah, so, yeah. So there is my mouse, it should go to my computer. And uh, here I'm having this here. And here I'm, I'm going to call the function. And I'm going back to, to, to this here. Oh, and uh, I should move this. And it is executed. So, so, so principle, with this, you have executed APL function somewhere, somewhere in the cloud, and, and this is what has happened. It's just printed out and added timestamp. Yeah, that is all, yeah. So, so in principle, that, that, is, that, is, that is how all, all this started is, is, is uh, uh, I have um, seen some some serverless, and and then 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 I was able to 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 use Cobles Cobles uh, for Python in something about three to five minutes in my local uh, Kubernetes in my local machine, and then I said, oh, let's do this also for for APL, and so now it's time back that we go to to the slides, and now I, I'm going to to explain you what really happening here. And maybe you will be scared because there is lots of things here. Uh, but yeah, so this is the scene. This is what, what, I, what I'm using at this moment. I have a Minikube a VM in which is running a first Docker daemon. And I'm using private Docker registry. So you have to have some Docker registry from where you're pulling the images, Docker images. Then in this VM is also a provision Kubernetes cluster, and, and Kubernetes cluster has one Linux node, and in this Linux node we have uh, kubeless pods and kubeless service. I will explain this a little bit later what that means, all, but the challenge of all of this was to put APL here in these kubeless uh, pods. So, let's continue. So, so this, this was kind of architecture, and now I'm, I'm going to make kind of from small, I'm going to go from smallest part to, to higher abstraction. So what we have is this function, and we want to deploy this function uh, to execute in dialog interpreter somewhere in the cloud. So next thing, what, what happens is this function, so, so I have now, this, this fun function is just a little bit reduced, uh, and, and then to run this function, I need another APL function, which, which is calling handler, and around this, I have then uh, some, uh, our JSON server. So with this, I have JSON server, server, and then I'm exposing the node with only backslash, and for this, I had to, to tweak a little bit JSON server. Uh, so in principle, what we have now is uh, just this JSON, JSON, JSON server, which can uh, expose the echo out. So let's go a little bit more in the, this abstraction. Next, next thing is, so I'm coming back to, our, to this JSON server, and in this JSON server, we have this echo. APL function, which is, is, is which is running there, but we now have to make a runtime in which uh, APL can run in this kubeless serverless 
platform. And, and then for that, uh, that was the main, main, uh, it was the main task of this exercise, how to make runtime. And uh, uh, this runtime is based on uh, Kubeless Debian, Debian Linux image. And inside of this uh, Docker image, which is built there, is also uh, installed uh, uh, Dialog APL Linux version. And, and it's also then a uh, uh, clone from, from, from internet JSON server. So, so this is my, my, my adjusted, my forked JSON server. And, and then here you have also to, to deploy in this JSON server, you have to also to, to, plo, to, to, to deploy one function which is called uh, 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 health, health check, which is used by, by, uh, by, by, by uh, Kubeless to check if uh, this node is uh, healthy. So, 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 so Kubeless is pinging or calling this health Z every 30 seconds or something like this and checking, oh, is this node still running? Is this service still ready to, 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 to be called? Uh, and now we, I will start a little bit about Kubernetes and to run all this, we need to have this Pods, we need to have replica set and service. And, and pod is group of one or more containers. So pod is the, the, the smallest, uh, smallest unit in, in Kubernetes. And what is also important to know is, is the pod is mortal. So pod, pod, pod is something like, uh, uh, like kettle. So it, it, can, it can die. And so if, if it comes in some bad state, Kubernetes will kill this just just pod, and you can also recreate and, and execute pod, and then and and, and also uh, kill it. So this goes automatically. So so pod as a pod has IP address, but IP address on pod is uh, dynamic. Uh, uh, a replica set is something which uh, is is replication controller, and it, uh, and it controls how these pods are are replicated. And on the top of this, we have service. Service is also pod, but service has, has IP address, which is static in Kubernetes, uh, Kubernetes uh, uh, world. So, so this, this, this service is used when you want to access to the pods. And, uh, and I, I will show this later, but in principle, when we have run this command up. When I run this command for deploy, I have deployed, uh, uh, Kubeless has deployed all these things for me. And that is, that is what, what is, uh, what is uh, Kubeless, uh, uh, how Kubeless is implemented. So Kubeless is just uh, has a new custom resource definition for function. And yeah. So this is I, I want to show you how, how in principle this works on the end. So we have echo and node. This is this is attached up on, on the service. Then we, we start to run, then usually pod is already there, but then if we want, want one more, if we want to scale, we have more pods, and we can then then you, you're calling outside to, to, to this echo API, and then you can, then it can also disappear. So this is, this is kind of important that you know that pods are mortal. So, so now, so now, until now it was easy. Uh, so now comes also very, very interesting part here. And this is uh, Istio service mesh. And Istio service mesh is split it basically in two place, two two parts in data plane and control plane, and and in in data plane we have now something. This is probably very very important to understand here. So we, we can see here that that we have uh, this uh, bold 
uh, square with, with, with sidecar and service echo. So, so this service, which we had before, is now squeezed even further to this small service echo, and, and Kubernetes will make this together in one, one chunk, one, and then it will assign, assign a sidecar proxy. So why this, this is important? Because in, in service echo, we're just using very, very, very fast JSON server, so web server, and you don't have to have uh, encryptions with HTTPS or nothing. And this sidecar proxy is, is helping service echo to communicate with other, with other pods. So, so this sidecar proxy will make MTLS, what is it's called, uh, which is also this, uh, uh, which, Im which implements HTTPS encryption. And, and that means that, and it will also implement something called circle breakers and all beautiful, uh, beautiful things for us. So, so in principle, we just have to make very simple JSON server, very simple web, ser web server, and this communication between, be between these pods is uh, done by, by uh, control plane and these sidecar proxies. Uh, on the top, uh, we have control plane, and here are, are defined uh, root traffics and uh, policies and, and et cetera. So here up, we, 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 we define uh, certification, authorization, we, uh, and how this is all uh, uh, how this all is uh, oh, sorry, how this all is uh, where is uh, Uh, these other things which we need to, to access uh, this, this, this pods, yeah. Uh, so, so this is also very important that you don't have to have at all this HTTP uh, uh, encryption here. Uh, this is about traffic flow. So, so here we have this Kubernetes cluster and outside we have client and we, then we want to call inside of Kubernetes and then you can have different APIs outside and different services inside and Ingress is, 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 is providing this virtual hosting and also this uh, SSL termination on there and also load balancing so it, it, will, it, will, uh, it will send a uh, uh, load to different pods. Uh, in other side, when you want to, to notify from, out, from cluster to outside to client, uh, then you have to have egress gateway. And this one is optional. And they all have their own rules. Uh, now I'm going to present HTTP trigger. And this is how you can uh, call from outside uh, a, a node pod. So for this, I'll go back to this here. And uh, so we have, we have made, I have deployed this echo function and now I, I will create a trigger. So this is here, trigger is created. And the next thing is to Okay, H back high. So let's see uh, which ingress settings we have for trigger. I might have to 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 to, to tweak a little bit trigger, but let's see. So we have this sixty. Uh, let's go back to. And this is the curl. So probably this will work. I have. I will not have to change IP address. Now what I'm going to do. I'm going to go to, to, to uh, Linux subsystem system in, in, in Windows, and I will call Bash, because in Bash I have very nice, much, much easier to use uh, curl tool, curl tool. So let's go here to, to this here. And 
and and yeah, great. So that means that I have called this URL. I send this uh, these headers. This is header for for Istio, and this was data, and uh, I get result here, and result is that this function is executed. So uh, let's continue with, with slides here. Let's go back to, to PowerPoint. So what really happened now when we call this car, car when we, we call this API is, is following. So we had Kubernetes cluster. On Kubernetes cluster, we had Echo node. And then in this Kubernetes cluster, we had Linux, Linux node. And then there is uh, my service ingress uh, settings for that. So how to, to, to root. Then this have found this service for Echo. And on the end, then this called the pod. And on the end, JSON server has executed this and, and sent a request back. Yeah, it's straightforward and simple, yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's so. Uh, and yeah, that, then this comes the funny part here. Yeah. So I, I was thinking about this, so somewhere Sunday, I was, I was thinking about this all links on this uh, Matryoshka I, I, or Babushka. So if, I, I believe if, if, if Russian has made this Docker, they would probably call Matryoshka, yeah, so because all, all of these layers, yeah, yeah. So next demo will be to show how fast this echo, echo function is executed, how much, uh, how much we are uh, losing by calling of, of, of these, these functions. And again, I'm going back to, to, to here, and this is performance test, and this is test which I should call. And, and I, will, I will use uh, Apache benchmark so, so what I'm going to do now, you can see this is AB is, is the tool and, and we are calling on this IP address and we are, we are calling here, you can see C is 10 and N is 1000. That means uh, 10 clients is making 1000 requests. Press enter and, oh, it runs, that's good. And, uh, so this is how many requests is sent. And now you can see the response. So 50% of all requests was executed in 59 milliseconds. So we, we called 10, 10 clients. That means around six milliseconds by call. On, on the end, this runs all on my, my laptop here. It's very, very old and small virtual machine is used. So probably this is okay. Yeah, yeah the one, one request was one second, yeah. yeah. Let's go back to, to, to presentation, to slides. Yeah. So next slide is about eight auto scaling. So so what we have here is is that uh, Kubernetes has a hor uh, horizontal pod scaling. It, it has different metrics inside. So Kubernetes can can mem uh, can can collect, in Kubernetes you collect different metrics inside, and, and then therefore you can have different metrics and use different. On based on this, you can have different scalings. But this one use, uh, uh, this is just simple horizontal pods auto scaler, which use how much CPU are using uh, pods. And then if, if, if you need more, the, 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 the cluster is creating new pods for you. So let's try this. Let's go back to, to next slide. So this is presenting auto scaling and it's, you can all, 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 all this try at home after, if you want. Uh, so this here is here. So uh, auto scaling I have here. Uh, for this case, I have to use another function because this function is, uh, is, not, is not doing anything here. So I made the function which does something, and great, we have pink color, which, which Giglamesh made, it, it's really nice, yeah, it works, so coloring's there. And this, this is 
it could be much better April function, but I choose this JSON because I don't want to go in some parallelization. So if I do lots of things and, and then start to parallelize in CPU in APL, I was afraid that it's not so good. So I, will, I want to stay on one CPU. So in principle, it doesn't do so much. In principle, it doesn't do anything, except it, it parses JSON uh, text. Uh, so, so let's go back to minimize this. So that's here. Uh, I have to do this and to go here. So this will, why? Oh, and Bash, thank you, thank you. Thank you, thank you, it's good. Uh, so, yeah, I have deployed my function, great. Next thing is uh, going to, to back here, so I have to make a HTTP trigger for this one because I want to use AB tool on this. It does this, so then let's see if the function is running. Function is running, what is good. And, and now, now I have to set the rules about how to, how to, uh, what, what, how to scale. Next, next rule is, is, is saying how much of CPU will use this pod. And, and I have updated now this deployment and, and, I, and I have said here that it will use uh, 20, that is 20 milli, that is one fifth of one CPU will use this, uh, the port of, of this when this is executed. And, and next, next is uh, to define auto scale. So this here will, will say, okay, if, if I'm using more than 50% of CPU, make new pod. Okay, so now I'm, I'm going back to bash. I wasted. Sorry. And uh, so it's here. So, but before I do this, I I I, I will start something which is which, which I, I have to click on something which is very important. Uh, uh, I have to 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 go to this here. So this is kubectl, this is kubectl, and, and this here will, will, uh, will show, uh, will show uh, our uh, horizontal, horizontal uh, auto scaling, yeah? Uh, next, what I want to use is also is, is, uh, is here, and this gives uh, information about uh, which pods are deployed in this moment. So we can see that, that I have deployed this foo, what means this foo is this one which I want to, to auto scale, and echo was one before. And uh, it's now, uh, I'm using this uh, parameter w, so it, it will roll results here. Uh, so let's uh, go back. I, 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 I should think I have this in. I, I have not copied to, 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 so this here, okay, copy, and go back to this one, yes. So I hope that IP is okay. So now I, I'm calling six clients 10,000 times for 300 seconds. We will not wait 300 seconds to see how this works. I will continue with presentation, but I will just start now. And now, now this, this, this starts, so, so, so when we come back, we will look uh, what, what's happening with, uh, or on, or here. So first we'll, we can see uh, uh, here that we use already 1% here of, of CPU, but when we come back, probably there will be more. Let's continue with presentation, let's go to back to slides. So, so now comes probably the most uh, interesting part of presentations. So this is, this is uh, Cloud Foundation, yeah. 
uh, this is Cloud Native Computing Foundation, and they are uh, so it says Cloud Open Cloud Native Computer Foundation is open source foundation dedicated to, ded dedicated to maintain cloud native computing uni universal and substantial. Sub sub so that that here that here so so if I if I'm just to 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 to, to this is uh, layout from them. And, and here you can see this is, this is Kubernetes there, you know? So this is all other different products. So you have here different caches, databases, uh, diff different traffic managers, and all this. And, and this is this huge ecosystem of, of all of this. It, it's worth, so, so, so what is the challenge here? Challenge is, uh, for us is, is, is to find technology which is appropriate for, for our businesses. So it's very difficult to, to find really what you want to use from here. And uh, so, so, so here is serverless. So this part is about serverless. So, 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 so if you continue the serverless, so this is all about serverless here. So you have different platforms, different tools. Uh, and the one which I'm using is today is kubeless. So, so, so there is lots of different technologies there. Uh, it was, I, I, I spent some two weeks choosing which, 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 which uh, several platforms should I use, and, uh, and I, I must say I was a little bit, I was lost, but I, I, I used my intuition, yeah? So I said, okay, this is, let's use my intuition and choose this one. And, yeah, let's continue with, with, with slides. So, so this one in several is everything about events. And, and in principle, we have just a normal uh, synchronous request uh, respond event. Then we can have asynchronous events. Then, then there is also message streams. Uh, in, in message streams, uh, this is uh, this is this is usually uh, publish subscribe pattern where we publish an events. I'll show this later. And then we, there, there is also jobs where we every uh, where we can execute. Uh, some jobs in, in some uh, every I don't know 20 minutes every with, with, with defined timer. Uh, so let's go about message stream, and I, I, I'm going to present an uh, example of, on this, and this is a pop up uh, pattern, and and here this ex expected to consume. In, uh, uh, so, so here, customers consume the messages which producers are putting to, to the queues, to the topics. Uh, example for this will be here. Maybe before I continue, go to videos, yeah, we can see that what's happening now. Yeah? So, so we are now have 100% usage, and now we can see that, that, that we have... Uh, 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 pods have been, how many pods? We have replicas, yeah? Now it's milliseconds. So we have, we already use all, all four pods, yeah? Yeah, I, 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 the, the example which I'm using used too much CPU, so the, the it went immediately to four pods. Yeah, I, I'm running too, too, too many things here, so it doesn't, uh, so, so what I'm going to do here is now, uh, where is this running? Here, is, is, is it running here? No. Yes, it's running here. So, so what will happen now? Because everything is finished. Now it will. It, now it will. Uh, uh, it will de decrement. That, so you can see now the CPU is falling down because nothing more is, is sent. So we have now 95 percent, and now soon the number of, of the pods will go from four to to one. Yeah. Yeah. The, this could be better, okay. And yeah, so it, it refresh every every thirty seconds. So 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 Kubernetes um, measure what's, what's what's happening there, and, and, and these metrics are measuring every 30, thirty seconds, and then it's updated. So you're still on ninety five. Yeah, but that, that that will fall down. Uh, go back. So let's talk about Kafka. Kafka is uh, 
So first, uh, I have to deploy the, the function for Kafka. Oh, it's already there, so no problem. So it's even better. Uh, uh, I, will, I will then just execute this. So this is, uh, uh, you have to make this uh, trigger for PubSub. And the oh, trigger is already made, so I did this before. And then I will just publish the message on the queue. And uh, so the, it's published in the queue. And now we are doing following. We, uh, I have to go to kubectl, get pods, see which pods are there. I have this one pod here. So for this pod, I will now look lock. So cube CTL log, and I, how can I remove this? Okay. So so here you can see health check is running, but we can also see that in one moment in time uh, uh, the the consumer has took the event from 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 the queue and executed. So you can see it here, hello world, hello Kafka. So that's was here. So fine. Uh, now we can also see what's happening here. So you can see now that uh, the number of pods here is fall to one. So it's running only one. Uh, that's good, yeah. And uh, let's continue. Where is this now? It's here. Uh, this is also funny part. So there is a GUI where you can uh, edit your, your function dynamically, which is deployed. And uh, let's reload it. Uh, if it wants to reload, yes, it was, it wants. So I will go, for example, this echo function, which I have deployed. So let's, you want to see what's, what is here. So this is this function and I, I will now dynamically change the function and I will do this with just, it's a little bit difficult to copy from there, but I will do it. So, okay, control. Ah. Control C and uh, I have to have, is it okay? Yeah, it's okay. So it also took, uh, so now with this, when I press, uh, I'm saving the change. And now from here, so what, what's, what's happening now is that this function is de deployed to, to Kubernetes, it's, it's deployed to cloud. And now we can dynamically change this function. So in all these pods which are running, if, it, if they're running, this definition of function will be changed. And let's try to, to run it from here. A, B, okay, A, C, it's not really a representative example, but, but it's this example, yeah. So run function, so, uh, Okay, now I have to resize to see, and here you can see in response here down in, in, in down corner, you can see that we have now two times time step. So that's how it works. So let's go back to, to presentation and, and next thing is, yeah. So, so I, I call this about opportunity. So this gray, gray block is, is, is how we have before, we have monolith structure of our application. And, and you will say this gray, but I will say it's silver, better, better gold, because this, this, this gray thing is making money. And we have then, 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 then split this gray thing to, to services, which also make more money. But the, the issue is then, 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 then we have to grow. And, and the next thing, next thing is that we have to cut all these things in, in smaller pieces. 
And, and as we have to cut more in executions to have better performance, we have also to have more functionalities in business. So probably we have also to open ourselves to outside world that they, the outside world had contributed. So, 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 so this, 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 this colors maybe presents also you, which is going to contribute one day. Uh, next thing is, is about uh, how I have implemented this. So, so let's go to, to this link here. Or maybe, it's, yeah. So, so this is, this is, this is, this is forked Kubeless project. And, and, and this you can read about all, all about the Kubeless here. And I, I have went to Docker, so you have to go to Docker, then there is runtime, and then, then, then it's happening ma magic here. You can have APL also here. So I have added APL. So uh, I will call this kind of uh, uh, a rise of the phoenix, yeah? Because APL is back here with these big, big players, yeah? And uh, let's see uh, how, 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 how we have, how, how I have implemented this. Uh, here it is, definition of runtime. So of course, there is Docker file, and which runs on, 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 on Bitami uh, Debian. So you, you'll see here, somewhere is installed a dialog. Then, then, then here is cloned JSON server, which I have to, to update for this. And down, then is called entry point, point. And in entry point, in entry point, uh, I, I calling, uh, entry point is also very interesting because here you see how you can, how you have to make this runtime. So you have different, uh, different attributes. For example, function name, function handler, which port you will use on which Time out, uh, the function should stop to work. And on, on, on the bottom is, 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 is calling, uh, Kubeless APL DVS, which, which on the end contain, uh, is, is this file here. And no, it's not that. Kubeless DVS is, uh, is here. I have shown this, oh, yeah. So here, from this entry point, we have sent these attributes, and then here in APL, we, we're taking these attributes. Here is, is created handler. And then, then I have to adjust quite a bit uh, uh, JSON server. And, and here, here it is, is it's starting. So, for, so here is started JSON server. So next thing is, uh, I hope I have explained everything about this. Uh, I have not so much. So, so this is about function flowers. This is the future. You will have different APL functions. So, so you can have a kind of normal function optimized for APL. Then, but then, then you can even have this node, which can you have GPUs, and then you can maybe even use Aaron's. Uh, Code difference. Then you can have also Node, Windows Node, where you have APL functions. Uh, conclusion, yeah. So, 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 so all these uh, uh, several kind of promise that we should not be any more locked to any platform. That we just have code, and we deploying anywhere in, in the cloud, and we don't have to think about where is this executed, how it is executed. We just have to think how to develop our APL code. Uh, the next thing is this, and, and I put smile because Morton has showed this uh, dialogue, dialogue images today, and I, I, I think I can soon make, I don't have to, to deploy my, my image anymore to local, local repository. I will be able soon to, to, to take it from, from public one, and that will also make easier to integrate uh, in open source platforms. So I put a little bit bigger smiley here. Uh, also, I need tools from outside uh, for, 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 for cloud like Prometheus, 
which is used for 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 for, for take the 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 the, the, the matrix, uh, and dot net core can help with this. So because dot net core has already these tools. Next thing is npm packages. This is already done. Uh, uh, then we should have also Swagger support for JSON server and Conga. Uh, and then, then, then standard con conventions. So how we develop APL. And this is the tricky question, yes. Uh, what is the most productive code? Convention. Hmm? What is the most productive code convention? And, and answer is very simple. It is simcom funds. <laughs> Yeah, so it is, that's, that's true, yeah, so, so I, I'm not lying, so, so believe me, yeah, and about community, so we should build uh, working groups around, we should have maintainers, contributors, and example is uh, projects from Gilgamesh. And, and now, now this is the most important part, so you have to go here, or should not have, you should go and try it. And when you come there, what Gilgamesh is forgotten is, then, then you can do two, 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 two things you can follow, so you can follow me there, and you can put also star if you like it on GitHub. Yeah. So okay, this is not so funny, but okay. But that's true, yeah. So and that's all, yeah. Uh, yeah.